Good morning. What I have here is dandelion oil. Oh, this is really hard to see in here. I am sorry. I'm dark now my room up because of the sun. Uh, but dandelion oil, uh, if you choose to make this, what you do is you pick your dandelions like you would for jam. But what you're going to do is you're going to spread them out and let them dry 24 hours. Or you can put them on a dehydrator, go with the herb setting. They're just really full of water. You're only wanting the, the heads here. Um, they're really full of water, however, so you want to let them dry out just a little bit so that you do not get mold in your jar. Then all you're going to simply do is um, get, your glass, get a glass jar and stick your dandelions in there and you're going to completely cover them with oil. Your preference as to what kind you use. And a lot of people put it in the window for like two weeks and leave it. I don't. I find the, the, the best success. I stick it in a south facing window and I leave it for two or for six weeks. Excuse me. Not two weeks. And it's I just shake it. If you find when you're doing it that um, the oil, the dandelions have, have absorbed the oil, keep an eye on it. Make sure you just add more oil. Dandelion, what I use this oil for is um, I like to make salves, things for my hand, things for my body. This does help with skin. Actually, it contains things that help with pain as well, too. This is really majorly dark. I am so sorry. Maybe when I get it out, it'll be better. But let's crack it open. It's been sitting six weeks. Today is its day to come out. And so I'm going to strain it out. They don't have a lot of color left. Look Now, now the jar looks yellow. So anyway, I am going to strain this out. If you're noticing that you're getting bits... In, in in the oil mixture, you can always strain it through a coffee filter. Takes a little bit more time, but easy enough to do. And I usually take a spoon. I've ruined so many strainers doing this. I'm not telling anyone to do this because I have ruined a lot. But see, I squeeze oil out. Because I'm busy and I just want to get this done. But yeah, anyway, squeeze it. You could also actually wrap these probably in um, cheesecloth or something like that as well too. And just squeeze them. But I want to get all the goodness I can out of there. Let me finish squeezing this and I'll be back. Okay, I am back with my strained dandelion oil, and I put some white under there for contrast. I will hold it up in just a second. What I always do to finish my oils off is um, I squirt vitamin E in because it is a preservative. So that's the part where I am. I, I don't know. It's probably maybe half a teaspoon, give or take. Okay, I'm going to put it back in the same jar that I strained it in. I'm just going to shake it up. And I'm hoping this shows now. Uh, let me raise the camera just a little bit. How about that? Nice and yellow. Yellow gold. You can use this to make, like I said, salves, balms. If you want to make a balm, you would just take your oil and you would mix it with about... Um, Probably about a, well, for this much, because this is probably about maybe six to eight ounces in here. Sorry, not paying attention. And I'm sorry if it's noisy, they're doing remodeling work underneath me. Um, but this is probably about six to eight ounces. But what I would do is, is simply take a um, tablespoon of beeswax. And I use the pellets because I find them way much easier. And um, then you could put in a tablespoon or two of coconut butter or shea butter, whatever you would like to do like that. Just uh, dissolve the butter that you would choose 
and the beeswax together and when they're done remove them from heat and pour them right in. Um, I like to take a lot of these that I make like this and um, I love my metal bowls. I put it in a bowl. I put it in a bowl and I just turn my mixer on with one beater. Sorry it's wet because I just washed it up. Um, I pour my, I, anyway I use one mixer on my beater and it just makes it kind of creamy and fluffy and if you want to at that point in time you could also scent this with an essential oil if you choose to. Um, it doesn't really have a smell. Dandelions may taste sweet but I don't notice that they have a lot of smell either so you you know you could do lavenders um, I made a mistake and did some jasmine in one in some once and though I love the smell of the jasmine sometimes it's a little overwhelming and I'm like oh okay not for this but I use this anyway on my skin it's softening I do use it for aches and pains I do combine it with other ingredients sometimes like frankincense and lavender. Um, I like vetiver, so I throw that one in a lot oftentimes too. You're, you know, you're just limited by your own imagination and obviously um, be careful when you're throwing these things together and do tests on your skin. You don't want to have allergic reactions and, and break out to any of these things. Study just study you know nobody's going to do it for you and you really can't take everybody's word for everything because you never know how a thing's going to react on your sorry I had a phone call come through anyway do your homework study do test spots on your skin before you go rubbing this all over the place that would be my best advice for you I do the same thing with the making of the oil for plantain pine I go to the pine tree, pick pine needles off. Again, I dry them out a couple days. Same thing with the jar, cover them with oil. Put them in a sunny window. I, I leave mine for at least six weeks. Shake them, you know, a couple times a week. If you want to make a double strength, you can always leave it in your window for six weeks. And then you would strain it out, keep the oil put fresh in it and again let it sit for six more weeks in the sunny window. I do really recommend a south facing window or as sunny as you could possibly get. Um, outside is fine as long as they're lidded nothing's going to get in them anyway. Just get them in the sun. And you can make a lot of your own salves and things that you know help skin or pain or a lot of things like that just with using your imagination this is already diluted because you're the one who poured the oil in so no further dilution is needed for any of this and like I said I do this with a lot of things even lavender or oh my goodness calendula there's just so many things anyway hope hope you all will try it now is dandelion time actually ours are gone outside now which is why I decided I would go ahead and preserve this up Beautiful color. Okay, have a good day. God bless you.